listen and learn. I'm going to show one of the cool little things that's also going to be a piece of content in the new PowerPoint for video course. On the webinar, we talked about this fun little effect called 3D pop-out pictures. Okay, and for those of you who didn't attend, here's just a quick rundown of what that is. So here, have a picture. Here's Maggie the Wonder Dog. And I'm going to pop her off the page and make her look like this. Hi, Kitty Pie. Because it's just so adorable. And this is a really easy effect to pull off. So I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. Okay. First of all, I'll make a couple of points about the images. Zoom in just a little bit. This trick works best with images that have contrast. Okay. So notice that Maggie the Wonder Dog is a nice uh, chocolatey Labrador color and then the background here is a bit different. There's contrast to the image, okay? And that's the kind of image that this is going to probably work best on. It's also best if you have a whole image or a whole subject. So Maggie is here in completeness, so to speak. It just makes it pop better. I'll show you a couple of examples of variations there, but here's how you do the trick. So I'm going to click on Maggie and I'm going to right click and copy. I'm going to right click and paste. So now we basically have two copies of Maggie. So on my first image here, I'm going to go to the Format tab and I'm going to choose one of the format options here. With, uh, I'm going to put a frame around it, not the Polaroid, just a, a white frame. And this is going to kind of give the illusion of a picture, right? Okay, so once that's done, the next step is I'm going to crop it. So I'm going to click on the crop, and I'm going to crop to a shape. And the shape I want to crop to is under basic shapes. It's called a trapezoid. Okay, so I'm going to crop this to a trapezoid. So here we go, crop, and I'm just going to bring this down to some point where Maggie is kind of outside the whole deal. And you can kind of play with uh, some of the sizing and whatnot, but in this example, this is just going to kind of work. So I'm going to crop it, right? So now the next step is I'm going to click on my second image, my copy of the image, and I'm going to remove background. And here's where the contrast thing really kind of comes into play. So I'm going to just make sure that I get all of Maggie included, and I might need to play around a little bit. By, let's see, mark areas to remove, and just kind of draw some stuff out. Uh, but you don't really even necessarily have to worry about down here. It's really uh, just the parts of Maggie that are up above that really need to be removed. You'll see in just a second, I don't really care so much about this down here. So I'm going to keep changes, and then you'll kind of see what happens here. So now we have Maggie all removed, and here's the tricky part. <laughs> just move her over, and set her exactly on top. Boom. See that? How fun is that? So that's a pretty fun little trick. One of the other things that I like to do is I will group them together. Okay, Select them both, right click, group, and once they're grouped, then I can kind of play around with some of the other options. If I go to Format, and let's say I want to change some of the rotation. I'm just going to go to the rotation options here, but you could use the presets also. Some of these presets get really kind of weird and squirrely, but once they're grouped together, you can kind of play, and I usually use the little handles here. So let's say I just kind of want to rotate or, you know, again, change some perspective a little bit. So you can do all kinds of weird and goofy things with it. But that's basically the trick. Again, it works better for certain kinds of images. 
Uh, on something like this, you'll notice that, well, I might be able to use this if I don't make the uh, picture shape quite as radical or the pop out quite as radical. So for this little guy, see what happens here. See, I just have his nose sticking out, but it still has kind of the same effect. Right? So don't think you need to pop something all the way off the, the page. Even just this subtle little move here can kind of make you know, your, your point. I'll zoom that in a little bit so you can see it a little better. You can have all kinds of fun with images like this, though. Here's one. So here are these guys now uh, kind of walking into a picture. And I'll put uh, a template together with just an example here. I'm just going to have like a couple of images for you to play with. Uh, this was taken in my front yard, but you'll notice that it has that contrast. Okay, so I'll put this out for you guys. Uh, the before, which is the source. Then uh, you see here, this particular one, I kind of even use some of the extra stuff. Just a couple of things for you to play with. But it's kind of a fun effect, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.